They say that you can't keep a good man down. Uh, that's a commonly heard idiom in the English language. It means a person of wit, fortitude, intellect and courage must surely prevail. What, what a lovely thought. We can all get behind that. But unfortunately, it's the opposite that is so often true. It's people who are the dummies, the, the dunderheads, the nitwits, the absolute imbeciles, the people whose ambition far eclipses all of those positive values. Those are the ones who seem to prevail, or at least they're the ones who seem to keep trying, not knowing when maybe giving up would be the correct order of the day. Uh, such a person is uh, this week's nitwit. His name is Stephen James, and he is an anti-5G conspiracy theorist from Stockport. And he believes, like many of the subjects of this show, that 5G is some kind of cancer-causing agent of death, despite being pretty much the same thing as 4G and all of the other mobile phone networks that we have been using in this country and all over the world for the last 25 years. So this is what happened when Stephen discovered that a pub 500 meters from his home was due to be getting a phone mast upgrade. Last night about 8.30 we got notification that a 5G mast was being installed. I'm going to go there. I'm not going to get involved. I'm not going to try and stop them from doing it. Let's just document what's happening. Well, what could be wrong with that? He simply wants to be an observer. He's going to act like a, a neutral journalist, simply taking note of what it is those construction workers are doing, maybe observing with his eyes and, and, and taking notes about what might happen when they uh, place that 15 meter pole into the ground and, and then cement it after having first secured the cabling and, and the wiring infrastructure. What, what could be wrong with a man and his curiosity simply reporting the facts as he sees them? Could we know how to name it? It's called off to the public. By who? What? By traffic management. Who? Traffic management. Who are they? TM. Okay. On whose authority are you acting? We've got a job to do, we've got responsibility. Stephen's not getting in the way lasted literally five seconds. He, he just blundered onto the work site and caused so much nuisance. He made himself an obstruction, a health and safety hazard to all those other workers who were just trying to get their job done. In the end, on that day, they packed up their tools and they left without having installed the 5G mast. And Stephen and his friends, they celebrated because to them, this was a much needed victory. They had prevented big telecom from installing the, the deadly 5G cancer mast next to the pub where they all like to get drunk on a regular basis. Um, well, kind of. The big wheel keeps on turning. As you can see, they've now erected, installed the 5G mast outside the traveler's call. I'm sure you're wondering, how is it that the telephone company managed to get one past the brilliant mind, the, the pulsating cranium of Stephen James, that ever vigilant guardian of the airwaves, the man who single-handedly set out to prevent Vodafone, EE, or whoever the hell owned that mast from installing their deadly 5G ray gun by the pub where he liked to drink himself silly. Well, the, the answer is actually very simple. They just came on another day. In, in fact, th this whole charade that Stephen James went through, including many hours of, of just completely annoying behavior, which I just don't have time to show on my channel, it was all for nothing. He, he just came and installed it another day. But remember, you can't keep a man down, either good or bad. And I really don't think Stephen James is a good man. He's a profoundly ignorant man who believes in some very strange things. And so possessed is he of these beliefs that he has an almost religious zeal to convey his ideas to the public at large. He's not going to be stopped simply by having a, a day of his and, and an entire work crew wasted. No, no, he's going to come fighting back with something even more truly bizarre. Well, I think the best way ahead is to educate 
the local community on what the potential harms that these 5G towers can do. You can't just produce a leaflet and say, with all the facts and figures because they just don't want to know. What we've got to do is create a bit of uncertainty within their minds as to whether this technology is safe or not. And we the normal role of education is to provide insight and clarity, to reveal the mysterious and to provide enlightenment through understanding. Well, that doesn't seem to be what Stephen James is about at all. He wants to create uncertainty, a, a confusion. He wants people to be in a state of paranoid doubt, just like he is. That, that's his idea of education. It, it seems to be nothing at all to do with helping people understand the technicalities of how radio systems work. In, in fact, it is precisely the opposite. He's engaged in an act of propaganda. A leaflet has been produced which is going to um, just plant a seed of doubt within their minds. And so Stephen James had thousands of these pamphlets printed up and distributed them around all of the homes in this particular area, the, the, this, around this pub near the, the town of Stockport. And it just so happened that one of those homes belonged to a man called Lewis. And Lewis, like me, is a YouTuber, although one arguably far more successful, because he runs the channel called Ringway Manchester. And if you've not seen that channel, I highly recommend you do. As soon as you have finished watching this show, hop over to his channel and subscribe. You'll find that it's the polar opposite of my channel, where I spend my life wallowing in the filth of conspiracy. He takes a diametrically opposite approach. His show is all about what is brilliant and true in the world of radio communication. So if you want a, a channel that is all about the, the history, the inventiveness, and the, the fundamental facts about radio communications, I could not recommend anything more highly than his. Uh, and so Stephen James picked the wrong person to bother with his conspiracy nonsense. This leaflet has been making the rounds in the Stockport area recently, and it's very interesting. At a glance, it looks like a nice attempt by Stockport Council to alleviate the concerns of local residents who always seem to be up in arms whenever a new cell tower is installed, despite using said cell tower on a daily basis to moan about it on Facebook. At the bottom is an approved by Stockport Council logo. Firstly, on the front, we can see a cell tower superimposed outside this pub. Now, there is a cell tower here, but it's not the one in this photoshopped collage. You'll also note the so-called chemtrail that's been added above, probably to further wind up the conspiracy nuts. MC Toon always says that you have gotta lie to fluff. That translated means that in order to be a flat earther, you need to be engaged with dishonesty at so many levels. You have to lie to yourself and you have to lie to the public in order to maintain the facade of a flat earther. Uh, one of the reasons I refer to anti-5G conspiracy theorists as 5G fluffs is that they need to be engaged in a very similar kind of dishonesty in order to maintain this ludicrous conspiracy theory. And as we can see from this pamphlet, Stephen James is not an honest man. He is not at all interested in presenting the facts as he understands them about 5G. He's not at all interested in representing himself as just a man with an opinion. He has created this pamphlet in a style intended to fool the gullible into thinking that they have received an official communication from Stockport City Council. Uh, that is a profoundly dishonest thing. And you know what? I would hope that Stephen James suffers some consequences for this because he is committing some kind of fraud. This isn't just propaganda. This is a man purporting to be the government in order to specifically misinform people, in order to promote his own ludicrous conspiracy theory at the expense of the citizens. He's a truly horrible man. But that isn't even all he's put into this ridiculous pamphlet. Um, and hopefully, that little bit of doubt will lead them to question what's happening here. Hopefully that's gonna allow or gonna 
um, make the, the, the members of the local community uh, start asking questions. We're just asking questions. Uh, harmless little questions, questions devoid of any meaning or subtext. Little sciencey wincey questions intended to uh, educate, but also to confuse the population. Questions like these. Then it goes on to ask, can 5G cause cancer? Again at the bottom it says studies are ongoing. Could 5G be the cause of one of the scariest diseases known to man? That sometimes inexplicable, often fatal, sometimes painful, deadly disease of cancer? Is 5G the cause of cancer? Does 5G cause it? Well, oh well, we're just asking questions. See, these are the kinds of questions that Stephen James put into his little pamphlets, despite having no real evidence at all that cancer and 5G are related. You know what? They aren't. It is scaremongering bollocks made up by a man whose idea of education is to make everybody as confused as himself. This leaflet provides important information on the simple precautions that you and your family can take to keep safe from 5G radiation. You'll notice the mixed use of capitals and lowercase so far. 5G stands for the fifth generation of wireless technology. It promises you faster internet speeds and enables unprecedented, spelt wrong, surveillance, also spelt wrong, technologies. And don't get me started about the typography, the, the red on blue text. It's, it's garish, it, it offends my eyes. It, this is clearly the work of a design challenged imbecile, somebody who has yet to master the intricacies of Microsoft Word's spell check feature. Stephen James, as we've established, is not a clever man, he's not an educated man, he's not a man who understands how 5G or, or technology works. Uh, he's not a good man by any description, but he's a determined man, and he's a man who is possessed of a sort of single-minded energy, a, a desire to share his conspiracy theory no matter how many times he's put down and rejected. And that's why Stephen James took his questions, his just asking questions, to Stockport City Council, where he decided to bombard his local elected officials with a tirade of nonsense that he had gleaned from conspiracy theory websites, from people like Mark Steele, uh, maybe even people like Gary Waterman, remember the, the ridiculous ex-cop who's signed on to just about every conspiracy theory in this world. The world is poorer because it's full of people like Stephen James, people who are so gullible as to believe just about everything and yet so ambitious as to believe that their gullibility needs to be shared with everybody else. We want them to start asking questions of the local council that have approved um, the installation of this mast. An increasing number of scientific studies raise serious health concerns associated with prolonged exposure to 5G radio frequencies. Kudos to those councillors from all three of the major parties because they sat through Stephen James's presentation without smirking, guffawing, or, or, or simply walking out, maybe to use the lavatory or, or to, to get a hot beverage, something to pass the time whilst this man twitters and rambles like a burbling brook, uh, uttering a, a series of incoherent nonsenses of zero significance. It, it's, it's a tribute to all of them uh, as local politicians that they sat quietly almost seeming to engage with the nonsense he was uttering. And then one of those elected politicians decided to, to give a, a coherent and measured response to Stephen James's ridiculous conspiracy twaddle. Here at Stockport, um, we follow the UK Health Security Agency advice regarding public health aspects of exposure to radio waves, including those from 5G mobile phone, uh, base stations and other radio transmitters within the environment. As well they should, because it's not the responsibility of a local authority like Stockport City Council to determine fundamental science policy. That's something that has been decided on a national level. It's at the national level that the, the medical and the scientific institutions have 
evaluated the science have come to the conclusion that uh, non-ionizing radiation in the quantities emitted by the sorts of transmitters that you find in the 5G and 4G network are entirely harmless. And, and if, if you think about it for a second, that is as it should be, because 5G uses the band previously occupied by analog television that was shut down approximately 25 years ago. But analog television broadcasted at levels that were many hundreds of thousands of times higher than that of 5G. And strangely, nobody, not even people who lived quite near to those transmitters, found themselves stricken with the kinds of diseases that people like Stephen James would like to attribute to being caused by 5G. If you stop and think about it, for even the simplest, the briefest of moments, you would know that Stephen James's theories are a crock of nonsense. The man is a crackpot and everything he says is completely wrong. And he is simply just trying to promote his ridiculous ideas, perhaps like many of the people we cover on this show. He's a sort of a attention-seeking idiot who's only really happy when people are doing precisely what he says, when he is the center of attention. That seems to be the kind of person that he is. And that's why he was the man who thought that it was perfectly okay to shut down that construction site, because it was what he wanted to do in that moment. He has absolutely no idea of how one must get along in a sort of civic society where we have to respect the opinions of others. That's just not Stephen James's way, is it? So if you're behind this leaflet, then drop me an email. Oh, Lewis, you sweet summer child. That is not going to happen. I I'm 100% sure of it. And the reason is, well, firstly, because none of Stephen James's gang, none of the anti-5G conspiracy theorists watch Ringway Manchester. You see, your channel is all about the technology and the history of the radio infrastructure of Great Britain. If people watch your channel, they'll understand just how much work went into making these systems effective, safe, fault tolerant, and useful. Uh, you can't be a fan of that kind of content one day and then go out protesting 5G towers the next day. because There's a 0% overlap between those two particular audiences. Uh, someone like Stephen James, he's not in it for the technology. He doesn't give a hoot about the technology. In fact, even though every single thing he's learned about 5G has been from the internet, probably on a phone, he would gladly see us all bombed back into a kind of Bronze Age pre-radio infrastructure just because He's afraid of it. He's a, a paranoid man who has no real interest in understanding how the technology works. He'll, he'll just selectively quote from scientific studies where he thinks it will back up his crazy notions. So unfortunately, no. I don't think Stephen James will be responding to any of Lewis's podcasts anytime soon. But I do have an idea about maybe how we can all learn a bit more about what Stephen James is thinking of. And just watch this clip. Lewis, this is for you. If you live in Stockport and there's a tower near you and you want me to come and take some, some metre readings for you, um, I'll be more than happy to do that. Uh, let me know in the comments um, if you would drop an email address or contact me on my email address which is thoughts from the edge of the matrix at gmail.com. So it seems that Stephen James, the, the ludicrous anti 5G conspiracy theorist who seeks to confuse and bamboozle people by way of education, and by that he means to spread his fear and paranoia about a subject he doesn't understand, well, well that person lives probably within one kilometre of. Lewis from the, the YouTube series Ringway Manchester, which, as we've already established, is one of the best shows all about the, the history and the infrastructure of Britain's radio systems. And Stephen James has just kindly issued an offer that if you email him, he'll pop by with that ridiculous toy EMF meter that he, he seems to think is uh, impressive, but we all know that he's just wasted his money on an absolute piece of garbage. Well, he's going to turn up at a place of your choosing and measure things. So, so maybe, Lewis, you could 
have one of your more sophisticated instruments, maybe bring a spectrum analyzer with a high gain directional antenna of some sorts, something even tuned or, or, or fit for purpose, and you could have some kind of measure out. And we could all, I, I just want to see how Stephen James will react when he's confronted with somebody who actually understands the subject uh, of radio systems and somebody who is steeped in the history of radio. Oh, a guy can dream. But anyway, that's really all from me. We, we've seen yet another bizarre 5G conspiracy flurf. I, I call them flat earthers, even though he may believe in a globular planet, because he thinks the same way as a flat earther. And because just like any flat earther, he has to lie in order to continue his ridiculous charade. And, and that's how we know that you can't trust someone like Stephen James. It's because when he is given a chance to communicate, when he is asked to present his case, he just lies. He just lies his head off. Ah, oh, see you in a week's time.